Well, Flower Mound has one of the more stringent ordinances in the entire Metroplex, but there are already 22 gas rigs here. But these are attracting more attention because they are closer to town and to people's homes. These meetings usually draw a handful of people, but tonight the Flower Mound Oil and Gas Board of Appeals is packed with people concerned about proposed gas rigs near their neighborhoods. We specifically chose Flower Mound. People like Becky Belcher, who moved here six years ago. A variance can be granted down to 500 feet, and that's the fear that the variance could be granted, which literally would put a gas well again 500 feet from the edge of my home, and which is just too close. A developer is asking for 20 variances to its ordinances, which protect homes, schools, waterways, and other infrastructure from the noise, traffic, and dirt associated with drilling. The residents cheered when Larry Belcher criticized the much publicized commercials selling the benefits of the Barnett Shale. I'm tired of hearing that I'm uninformed, unpatriotic, and downright unintelligent because I failed to see the benefits of inviting rich developers, developers who do not live within miles and miles of any of the proposed gas wells, to frankly come and take a dump in my front yard. The next slide uh, represents our setbacks to property lines. The first time around, the developers' plans were denied by Flower Mound. In this appeal, the plans the developers pitching are designed to be more environmentally and people friendly. Now, I did have one woman approach me. It was too late to talk to her on camera to get her into the story, but she did tell me there are residents here who support this project. She says that the drilling is inevitable and that this is the best way for residents who live here to determine how it's done. Now, this meeting is still going on. It is an overflow crowd. They say the last time they were here until about midnight. We are live in Flower Mound tonight. Larry Barriger, Fox 4 News.